Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at more of Alice's toy collection. There's just a whole variety of things, so stay tuned. <laughs> Are we on? We're on. Oh, okay. So we're still talking about toys. Mm -hmm. So I collected all these little stuffed animals um, that I have all around the, everywhere. I thought I didn't have enough children's toys, but here they all are. <laughs> so this is another fun thing. I probably have these all upstairs in the kids' room. Sometimes I put them on a bed. Um, we'll turn these guys. Again, they're just well-loved little guys. And this one probably was a pull toy at one point. Mm -hmm. I think he also is a uh, mohair. Mm -hmm. I must have a thing for that. I must. And these, this is probably a newer one, but look at his cute little face. Oh, isn't he cute? I guess he's a dog. Yep, I guess he's, he's a, dog. a dog. This one is actually an old guy. He's a bear. Oh, bring the little bear yeah. here. Come here, honey the bear. teddy bear. Oh, he is so old. Yeah. He doesn't really sit or, uh, he's supposed to sit, but he really doesn't. But he's cute, huh? Oh, he's cute. No buttons. Those little legs. <laughs> no. Someone. So, yeah. and then um, this guy, again, this one's newer. He's got a plastic uh, face here, so that's obviously newer, but I just thought he had such a cute personality. Another bear. <laughs> and then these darling little dog. I think this is a Scotty. I don't, what, what is he? Yeah, Scotty he looks, dog. Are they both Scotties? Yeah. Yeah, they're both Scotties, but they're different. Yeah. Well, it's definitely a terrier, right? Yeah, terrier, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So, again, they're just cute. I guess I'm drawn to them, you know, because they're so well-loved. And they're easy to decorate. Put them in chairs. I have, happen to have them in cupboards, or like, you know, like a child had them and collected them. But uh, there's just a lot you can do with it. So we're going to take these guys away, okay. and we are going to get the next grouping <laughs> of toys. Okay, here we go. Here More we go. toys. Okay, so there. I'm just going to bring this out. <laughs> oh, <everyone>. boy. <laughs> oh, boy. So uh, children's furniture or doll furniture. I have another larger one upstairs, which I didn't bring down. This is actually a uh, an old Japanese doll. Um, I think from World War II. Oh, wow. Remember when they had the camps for yeah. the Japanese? I think really it came from there, yes. Oh. But this is a darling little... It's kind of heartbreaking. Look at this bed. A rope oh, bed. No way. Look at how cute it is. Oh my goodness. Kind of reminds me of the beds I have upstairs in my boys' rooms. It does. With the little posters. The ticking mattress. Wow. The little quilt cover that we just put over here. Little pillow. So much fun you can have buying toys. Oh my <laughs> goodness. More pillows just oh. in case you need them. And then we put her here and look at this old, oh wow, like a coverlet made uh, especially for the bed with the cutouts, which is what they would have had. And it's pieced. Stop it. With the little ruffle. Oh man. So much work. Wow. For a toy. But aren't they just so fun? Oh, my. Uh, upstairs, I have a, a bigger one, and it has a bear in it with the quilts. Okay. But I said, I think I've got enough toys. So. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so that's that. Okay. So these aren't particularly toys, but here's what you can do with toys. So this I have in my bathroom upstairs. So these are little doll dresses. Yeah. I bought it framed like this, but this is certainly something you can do Yes. if you have little doll dresses. These are the kinds of things that don't cost a lot of money. Yeah. And then you could make a cute little uh, display yeah. of um, dresses. Great idea. And then this one is just another one. Again, it's blue. 
I had this in my bathroom. I told you I have kids' things everywhere. Yeah. So these two are in my bathroom upstairs. Oh. Just a little uh, sweet doll's dress, a twig, and hang it on a nail. Okay. Okay. So we have some, uh, this would have been a little educational board. Hmm. It's in red. Uh, you can see that they could have spelled words. I'm guessing a lot of the games were also educational. Wow. Um, cool. This side, it has uh, numbers. That's crazy. So you could, I guess, do your, I don't know exactly how you did it, but... I guess you could somehow, there's division, addition, whatever. I don't know how old it is. Maybe 40s, I'm huh. guessing. 30s, 40s. I could be wrong. I, I don't really know. So it could be the kind of thing that my mother would have um, yeah. learned on. I think so. Mom, what do you think? I mean, do I don't know, know whether it's, you know, I don't know that it's a game per se, but. Right. But. Cool. It's cool. Um. I have an old package of little dominoes. It, I just like the box. So yeah. this is part of my little toy collection. Wow. Um, this is, uh, looks like a card game and it says authors. Huh. So I guess another type of educational, you know what, let's, let's open it. Let's open it. Let's see what's in it. <laughs> if I can get the cover off. Okay. Well, I don't know that I can get the cover off, but does it have something in it? Can you it tell? does. It has cards in it. Probably oh. don't need that anyway. So, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, so like this is William Cullen Bryant, and I'm not. Did they just use it to learn or play? I, I don't know. I don't know if it was a game, per se. Uh, there's only... I don't know. I so, bought it for the box. Yeah, but it's cool inside. It's cool. The Game it of says, Authors. The Game of Authors. So my guess is there must have been directions and more cards. Maybe I, it was a matching game or I don't know. Did you play Authors? Because I used to play Authors when I was younger. No, I didn't. How did you play And it? I thought it was a New England game. Um, it, you played it like a card game, and instead of getting all the, you know, hearts and, you know, or like fish, aces like you, or in, something like that, and then okay. you would have to get the Authors. Okay, so like And I like actually two or three. had one of those games. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and, and yeah, I, I played bet you it when I was a kid. probably the same type of a thing. Well, mine was a lot more modern than that, but yeah. I bet it was. I bet it was. Yeah. Same. You know, some games don't change over time. That's true. Okay, so, so this is another question for my mother who can't answer right now, but <laughs> she was the one that introduced me to authors, and she okay. played it when she was young. So huh. we'll see. So maybe we'll get a little history on that. Maybe we'll get a little history I actually on that. have never opened the box. Wow. So, that's yeah. really cool. And then this was a game, it's called Snap, and I probably played the, a, this game. Again, I bought it for the box, but it is a game. Look, look, look at the... Wow. I think it was a game that you would put down cards and snap them or something. I, I don't know. Oh, but there are some neat. ones that match, so yeah. who knows? Yeah. Don't know. I guess you could probably Google it and find out. Wow. Maybe... 40s, 50s, I'm guessing. I'm just looking at the artwork. Yeah. But I really don't know. I, I bought these. It was a more visual thing. <laughs> I didn't really, really care about the game. Everything's visual. <laughs> Everything's visual. Um, let's see. Oh, let's get a couple. Well, I'm, I'll show you these first. So these are tin alphabet plates, which are really fun. Uh, again, probably another learning... Uh, uh, experience for the kids so they would they would have the alphabets around and this one has a, a nursery rhyme this one just has the alphabet and you know why i bought that one because it's red. red this one is unusual because it has well it says jumbo oh, jumbo, well, the, jumbo elephant. the elephant yeah so maybe it was fairy tale stories alphabet kind of thing i don't think they would eat off them I mean, but maybe. I don't know. But this I mean, one has um, who killed. Let's see. This this is a 
This is a, a nursery rhyme here. This one's an interesting one. I think it says Liberty. But it has two people. Does it say Liberty? I thought it said Liberty. Say Liberty. Uh, liberty. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. You know, so, but again, the alphabet um, around the edges. These are, you can find these pretty easily as really? well. Yeah. And you can even find uh, reproductions or even eat, a lot of even children's dishes and porcelain. They had the alphabet on the, the, now, currently, too. This says, who killed Cock Robin? Yeah, oh, isn't that a nursery I rhyme? Who killed Cock Robin, said the sparrow with my bow and yes. arrow. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a nursery rhyme of some sort. A lot oh. of them had nursery rhymes on them. But they're very cool. Um, I do have a couple of these upstairs in the kids' room, but I've actually, um, a few of these I have with my pewter collection. Hmm. So this is something that you can kind of put anywhere. But I just hmm. thought they're very visual. Very cool. This game, um, I think it's called Fox and Geese. Mm -hmm. And there are rules to Fox and Geese. We sort of play it as a solitaire uh, game where you, you jump over and hopefully if you can just have one marble left. Right. But I think you can play it with two people. Oh. Yeah. And I don't know how old it is, but you can even, uh, they make reproductions of this game, too. I've seen that, yeah. And this was actually, uh, I keep it in my family room because when my uh, great niece comes over, she'll play it. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it's an easy game to kind of explain, too. So that's Fox and Geese for that one. All right, let's see. What do I have? Okay, so I have some interesting little tin toys. This is a scary clown, but <laughs> you can wind them up. <laughs> These little guys, <laughs> you could okay. you wind up and they hop. And let's see. Oh, and this is a uh, another. This is a rabbit, and I think it's just made in Japan. So a lot of those toys were made in the fifties. Um, some of them are very expensive. So let's see what this one does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and like th this one was also a wind up, but whether it works or not, I don't know. Doesn't look like it, but he probably had a drum. Oh, wow. These tin toys. This one's probably, this is also made in Japan. Wow. But look at his ears. That's so cool. They're just fun. Yeah. This one obviously has a drum. I don't, he has a wind up. Oh, I guess he, yeah, I guess he does. I guess they kind of still work. Sort of. No one plays with them here. No. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I mean, he's missing a drumstick, but none of these are perfect. I thought these were them up. Ooh. I did have a key. So what? Wow. No, I don't know where the key is. But anyways, they hop. Oh, my goodness. You have to find the key. I'm sure it's somewhere. Wow. So the... <laughs> you just went okay. on the phone. So those are some fun tin toys um, that kids would have played with. Um, I have a... Just a tin bank, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you get the money out, but <laughs> it goes in and never comes out. Okay. Um, these you can find a lot. They're, they're little tin uh, dish sets. You'll find little cups and saucers, little teapots. Uh, a friend of mine gave me this one, and so I had other ones that I got rid of. Um, but at Christmas time, I'll put little greens in it to kind of bring some color up into that room. Cool. Um, animals are always fun, uh, like little farm animals or Noah, Noah's Ark animals. These do have little tags on them, but aren't they cute? Look oh. at this cat. I don't oh. know if she stands up on her own, but the oh. pig. Oh my goodness. Little farm animals, and we have the two horses. They're cute. Some people collect Noah's Arks with all those animals that go with them, which are, is another fun thing. Mm -hmm. um, also have, I had a dollhouse at one point so we have some 
little wooden cradles with little dolls in them. Oh, it's so cute, aren't they? Look at, look at those dolls. Oh, wow. So I gave the dollhouse to my great niece. Okay. So this is kind of all that I have left, but I kept the older dolls. These little glass ones. Those are so are amazing. Cute? Look oh, at her. Man. That's is, amazing. And this is like a little, I guess like a cupid doll, sort of. They're like porcelain maybe. Wow. I don't know. But she's isn't she sweet? Yeah. And then this other cutie. So I did keep those. But doll houses and dolls. Um, I know I had a doll house when I was a little kid. I loved it. And then I don't know what happened to it, but when I was older, uh, maybe in my 30s, a girlfriend and I, we decided we were going to do doll houses. <laughs> so we bought doll houses and we furnished them and we had a lot of fun with them. Uh -huh. And then I, I just gave it to my niece uh, like oh, about two or three oh no. months ago. Because um, I said, you know what? She would come here and play with it. And I said, what am I? I just had it up in the closet. So now she's enjoying it. She just told me, she goes, Auntie Alice, she goes, I just want to let you know, um, I'm going to do some remodeling. I go, of course you are. I oh, says, it's your doll. She goes, I think I want to paint it. Mm -hmm. And I want to put on a new roof. I'm like, go for it. Wow, <laughs> yeah. how cool. So I got a few things, a couple of, just a few more things on the toys. Okay. So old books. Oh, yeah. Which are pretty plentiful. Yeah. You can find them. This was bought for the blue cover. Um, this is a fourth reader. Okay. But they're just so cool. Mm -hmm. And you can put them anywhere if you have if you have a collection of old books you can mm -hmm. stack stack them or you know if you have an old desk. Mm -hmm. um, this I have a desk upstairs in that kids room okay. and I have it on the desk. Right. And along with a slate. Oh yes, perfect. Um, I love blocks. So these are old blocks covered in paper, huh. both sides. Huh. Can you mean blocks? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know what it's AR? Yeah. AR. <laughs> but they, the, uh, they had pictures on one side and then the letter. And then there were just other, you know, regular blocks, old ones. Mm -hmm. I love to spell things out with these mm -hmm. seasonally. Mm -hmm. So I'll have, you know, Merry Christmas or I'll have uh, Spring. Mm -hmm. But they're very, very colorful. Yeah. Also, um, you could use these as bowl fillers. I mean, there's a lot you can do with them. You can spell wow. words. You can do a lot. Yeah. This is also um, another block with a little picture of a girl. Ooh, with two dolls. And wow. that is IJK. So, not sure what that would have meant, huh. but was cute. Huh. And then... We have a little wooden top. Oh, wow. That still works. Oh, wow. And a ringer for the laundry. So a little girl can pretend that she's doing the laundry. <laughs> like in the olden days. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But uh, children, I guess the thing about children's toys is that they're miniature. Right. But they're everyday objects that you would have and uh so the little girls could pretend to be their moms right you know, and have the little miniature kitchen and the little miniature everything else train so, them to be a perfect yeah, little housewife that's right <laughs> show off your skills now <laughs> you don't but, need a brain you that's just need right. to know how to you work that house. house use that little <laughs> ringer you know but they're just uh fun they bring a they're just fun they're fun mm. collectible right uh the thing about them is they're they're not a lot of money, so you can mm. get a collection pretty quickly. Okay. And again, you can use them all over the house because right. I apparently have. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. Apparently, because, you know, <laughs> she didn't think she had anything. I didn't, yeah, I didn't think I had very many. And there sits nothing. <laughs> there we yes. go. So that's my oh, little my thing on goodness. toys. Fascinating. And I think we're going to, well, before you go outside, or maybe after you go outside, we're just going to talk about the primitive decorating journey and how you can you can start it at any age mm -hmm. no age is too late and you don't have to rush to get there mm -hmm. so we just thought we'd talk and throw out some ideas for it's gonna you. be really cool it's 
So we thought we were done, but I forgot the slits. So another child's object are these slits. Really I just cute. love them. So it's blue, stenciled, wood. This is iron. This one actually has a label. Made by Paris Manufacturing Company, South Paris, Maine, USA. Wow. wow. So maybe a little girls. Yeah. Isn't it sweet? So sweet. You know why I bought it? Because of the blue. Ooh. And this is the other one I had. I had other ones, but I've got rid of them. I kept the better ones. This is for, this is a little bit bigger. Again, stenciled. Mm. I think that might be earlier, but I don't really know. Again, wood with the iron. Beautiful. Colors. Beautiful. So that's that. Oh, they're so cute.